I've been asked a lot lately what is a good present for an autistic three-year-old, five-year-old, ten-year-old, any age. People have that question and I totally understand where the question comes from because I, I think I even made a video at one point that was good toys for autistic kids and, and I believe I said in that video that it was more geared towards sensory seekers and so they were really physical toys. But over the years, as I've answered this question more and more, my answer has changed. And so that's what I'm talking about today. To put this another way, if you happen to be neurotypical and I were to ask you, what would you get a three-year-old neurotypical girl for Christmas? There might be some general ideas that you give me, but you wouldn't be able to give me a super personalized idea of what the child likes because you don't know them and you don't know what their interests are. And the same thing is absolutely true for autistic kids and autistic adults. Autistic people aren't a monolith and so there's not one thing that all of us are going to like. I have kids that absolutely love twirling and spinning and swinging and then I have a kid who gets really dizzy really easily and who doesn't like that at all and that is the thing is even with sensory gifts in the autistic community is that there's a lot of variety and a lot of the times it goes from one end of the spectrum of sensory needs to the other from seeking certain sensations to avoiding. My advice for shopping for Christmas is if at all possible figure out what that person is interested in and into. Probably because I'm the parent I've always had a, I've always had a good idea of what our kids were into so even before when Sadie was one, way before she could talk, she was really into tractors. She had a tractor birthday party and she had a tractor dress. She wore a green dress. She had a tractor birthday cake. And then the next year tractors were out and nuns were in because she had this doll that was a nun doll called Holy Baby. There was a video that went along with it and she watched it over and over again. She absolutely adored it and that was what she was into. She brought that doll everywhere with her. With Maggie the first interest I really remember was Dora. She loved Dora and then for a while it switched to Diego then back to Dora and then bubble guppies arrived and ever since then it's been bubble guppies. Or for Patrick, who is nine now, it's usually all things Pokemon. Well, James is probably more into Minecraft, but he also goes back and forth between liking Pokemon a lot and liking them less because it's kind of Patrick's thing and they've always kind of had this thing going on between who likes what, I think, and liking the same things but also being more independent of each other. With Tessie, it's been unicorns for forever. And that's the thing. Um, with autistic special interests, a lot of times they can last for a really long time. Um, for those of us with ADHD, they can jump around a lot. My husband tends to get me presents that are tech related because he knows that I like technology. Usually I have a pretty good idea of what I'm getting. It's probably a little bit hard to surprise me, although he usually tries because he asks me what I like, like which camera I like, which one I think is the best. And, and sometimes he argues with me a little bit over which one's the best because then he watches reviews and decides he likes another one better and tries to convince me to come around to his side. It works so. So if at all possible, go for special interests. And if you don't know what they have and what they don't have, Gift cards are pretty good too. I would definitely go with a person's personal interest if you know what they are into and otherwise if it's more general and you don't know specifics I would go with a gift card. <laughs> Anyways that is it for today. If you like this video I would love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in all things autism I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!